mine's Tony and welcome back to Predicted. In today's episode I'm going to be reviewing some more fragrances from Rosa Salas. Now Rosa Salas were really pleased with my last review that I did on them. Please see the video link up above. They decided they wanted to get my opinion on some more that they did. They, they, I said that I would be happily do another video. They've given me some lovely descriptions which I'm going to be reading a little bit of those because they do I've read them, the cards that they've sent, and they really do explain what the fragrances are and put a really good description on, probably better than I can do. So I hope you can excuse my unprofessionalism on this. I am going to be reading from the cards on their description. They also sent me some business cards, which you'll see, they're spray cards. You can put the name of the scent on them with their details on the back. So I thought that was a really nice touch and it's given me an idea for maybe get some business cards for myself. The four fragrances that I've been asked to review are Forest Mist, which is inspired by Bois Argent. The second fragrance I've received is Sahara Velvet, which is D&G Velvet Desert Oud. I've received Black Tie, which is inspired by YSL's Tuxedo. I've also received Ubano, which is inspired by Tobacco Vanille. Now, what I, all I've done is I've sprayed the cards so I can get a fair reflection of what they are on the opening and the dry down. And I'll tell you what I think of them. So as I, what I'll do is, as I spray, I'll just read a little bit about what, what it is and give you my opinion as well as we go along. So the first one we're gonna be trying is Forest Mist, number 23. So if you go onto rosasalas.co.uk and you type in the code 23, it will take you straight to the fragrance Forest Mist, which again is Bois Argent. Rosa Salas' description on this, it's an enchanting fragrance that takes the spirit and nature into a luxurious perfume, rife with magic and mystery. When it comes to forest mist, there's no wrong way to wear it. So this intriguing fragrance starts with the playful top notes of cypress, iris, and juniper berry. And in the middle, we have myrrh, incense, and patchouli. While in the base, we have the warming combination of vanilla, honey, amber, some woody notes, leather and musk. So quite a lot going on there, it seems like quite a complex composition. They go on to say that it's wild and sophisticated, it has savage qualities, uh, it has certain pick-me-up notes in and it is completely unisex. So you can wear it day or night, everyday occasions or formal. Now, let me give you my opinion on it. So I've pre-sprayed the card. I'm gonna get the opening first. Now, from the opening, I do get the berries from it. It's quite sweet. I would say it's very sweet. It's got honey and vanilla in it. And the leather and the musk just balance it out a little bit. But let's give the dry down a smell. The dry down of that is really, really pleasant. Really like it. Completely different to anything I've ever tried, actually. It's quite unique. You can definitely tell the quality in the blending is there. Really enjoying that. That is really nice. Something I'm definitely going to enjoy wearing. Winter months. I wouldn't say it's, a, although it says quite versatile, I wouldn't say it's a summer fragrance. So, really going to enjoy that one. Really lovely interpretation of something I've not admittedly tried. Very interested to see how close that would be, but that is lovely. So that's the first one, that's Bob's Mist. Let's crack through these, let's get on to the second one. Second one is Sahara Desert, and the code of that is 18. And Sahara Desert is inspired by D&G's Velvet Desert Oud, which again isn't another one I've tried, I've not got any experience of that. So when I'm trying these, I'm literally 
given them my opinion based on what these actually smell like and not what the originals are. Let me read you the description card. It has incense in the opening, uh, followed with an attractive mask and oud wood, which add in a rich, woody and nutty fragrance, ending with amber and Tuscany leather. So giving off a delicious, resinous, cosy and crumbly note. The composition surrounds you with pleasant and warm aroma that keeps going even on the busiest of days. So I'd imagine the longevity of this is very good. Now let me smell the opening. Now again it, it's, it is with a really heavy incense on the opening. It doesn't remind me of something like Empronor, it's nothing like that, it's definitely sweeter. The, it, you do definitely pick up the, the oud, but the amber just sweetens it just slightly. It is, the opening is good, I like it, it's not something that I don't think my wife would like. And the dry down is just a little bit sweeter, so wait, give it 10-15 minutes, wait for the dry down because that on this is magic. Really, really is lovely, really lovely and sweet. And I'm definitely going to be enjoying that one. On to the third one, and this one is Black Tie, which is inspired by YSL's Tuxedo. Of the four fragrances, I would say this is the one I'm most looking forward to, just purely because I think it's much more something I would enjoy, my wife would enjoy. It's not going to be so heavy with the oods or the woods or the masks, it's, it's a bit, I think it's going to be easier to wear. Much more crowd pleasing, which is what I think I'm looking for. Rosa Salas' description on this, it's, this is pure elegance in a bottle. Everything about a black tie affair, it's the glamour, the magic of the occasion, it smells expensive. So perfect for men and women. I'm going to admit to you, I've tried this, and I would say it leans more masculine personally. That's not to say rose cells are wrong. I'm sure it's a unisex sense. Just something I think to bear in mind. I think it leans a little bit more masculine. The top notes have floral violets, zesty lime and coriander. Middle notes has rose and lily. So the description makes it sound like it is unisex or more feminine. I don't get that one there, strangely. In the base we have amber, patchouli and vanilla. Let me give it a spray. Oh, that is lovely, it really is. Pick up the lime. The lime is beautiful. A little bit spicy, not. I would say, I would say it's more cardamom than coriander. It's, it's really, really good. Pick up a little bit of the pepper, but the violet. Oh my god, the lime and the violet together are incredible. Let me smell the dry down. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a winner. That is incredible, that's really, really good. Wow. Sorry, that is, I don't know what to say. That is by far my favorite I've tried so far from this house. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. What a scent. Blown away by that. And I'm not, I'm not making that up. I am blown away, that is lovely. I don't know how anything's gonna beat that. Let's move on though. On to the last one. We have Rose Salas interpretation of Tobacco Vanille and this is Cubano, number 028. So this says it's an oriental spicy, uh, it's a blend of sweet, desert-like elements, exotic notes in there. It's um, quite full, rich in charisma and sophistication. It has in it, so it says on the card, Cubano instantly draws you in with the same fascination or as the window of a Parisian bakery. Tickling in your nose of top notes of ginger and tobacco, followed by a selection of premium Eastern spices, which are coriander, anise, cloves and cinnamon. Followed by a stronger whiff of the dried tobacco, and then it dries down into the vanilla, tonka, cocoa, benzoin and amber so a lot going on in this now like i've said 
I don't know if I've said this, but tobacco vanille isn't really, it's too strong for me. I'm hoping this is toned down slightly, but let's give it a check. Now, let's spray this. Oh, wow. Now, Artisan Bakery is spot on. It is spicy. It's got, you want to eat it, it smells like, to me, it smells Christmassy. So it's going to be unbelievable for this time of year, and that is a very, very festive scent. I get, you know the sort of Christmassy candles you get? It, it smells a little bit like that, but with a lot more going on. Something you could definitely wear. Let me smell the dry down. Oh, wow. Right, well, Rose Salas, you definitely changed my mind again. Their version of tobacco vanille is insanely good and would definitely recommend it. If you're unsure on sort of tobacco scents, it, this, I find tobacco is a bit, I find tobacco can be very different in a lot of different fragrances for me. Some I really like and some I don't. I love Rich Warm Addictive, which has tobacco in, and I love the tobacco in that, and yet I've tried the original of this and I didn't like that at all. I tried another clone, like I said, and didn't like that, but this is insanely good. Now, I just want to touch a little bit on presentation before I finish the video. I was sent using the little, they're 10 mil samples. They come in those little very well presented boxes. I love the branding from Rose Salas, it's spot on. And little 10 mil bottles. And again, presentation is lovely. So I want to say a massive thank you to Rose Salas for sending me these. It's giving me more content to look at. Uh, they've been quite supportive of what I've been doing so far and I'm really gonna get some enjoyment out of these. I really am fantastic. For me, the two gems are Tobacco Vanille and my favorite by a long way, I would say is YSL, is the Tuxedo. I'm gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of them, definitely full bottle worthy. I will be going back to buy a full bottle of that at some point, I love it. So again, sorry I'm at work today, I'm on my lunch break. Just wanted to uh, get this video in. I've been promising to do this for a while and I hate keeping people waiting. So, Rose Sass, thank you for being so patient and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. So, thank you again for coming back and watching my video. And again, massive thumbs up to Rose Sass for sending me these 10 mil samples, which I'll get a lot of enjoyment out of. I think the business touches and the description cards were fantastic. So, it's an example of one of the description cards they sent me, and I just think the business cards were just a, that was a finishing touch. Packaging, fantastic. So, again, I'm looking forward to working a lot more with these if I can. So, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. So, I only went and forgot something, didn't I? I forgot to tell you to keep smelling wonderful.